The spring is almost over. And guess what? Some of y'all ain't rocking steady. Some of y'all a little discouraged. Some of y'all a little disappointed. Some of y'all just don't fit. Hey, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shaking my head on this one. Two years. Three. Maybe two, maybe three. That's how long it's going to be before Deion Sanders becomes a coveted coach in big-time football. He's going to be courted by all the big schools if he keeps going the way he's going. And that's if he even wants to leave Jackson State. A couple more 11-1, and 10-2 and two seasons, and he's going to be recruiting with the best of them. That's you, Nick Saban. So in this video, Coach Prime is out there marketing, trying to increase the value of Jackson State and upgrade his roster. He understands that spring football is winding down on most of the campuses across the country, and there might be a few kids out there who aren't going to be happy about where they're slotted on the depth chart at their school. That makes them prime poaching opportunities for Coach Primetime. You see, no player wants to sit on the bench, and if they could step into Jackson State and start and play for a coach like Primetime, Deion Sanders wants to hook them. He wants to bring them to Mississippi. He's already getting some of the best recruits in the country, not just for those in HBCU schools, but he's picking up some top tier talent to come down to Jackson State. But you can't really be surprised, Deion Sanders has been at the top of the athletic marketing world for quite some time. When he was at Florida State, he built his own brand, Primetime. Now this was before the NIL hysteria, but you can bet while Primetime was at Florida State, he built a multi-million dollar brand. In this age of name, image, and likeness, who do you think is better suited for a kid who wants to hop on the money train of the NIL? Listen to this pitch in this video that he sent out. The spring is almost over. And guess what? Some of y'all ain't rocking steady. Some of y'all a little discouraged. Some of y'all a little disappointed. Some of y'all just don't fit. Hey, I understand. <laughs> And you about to get in that portal. Guess what, baby? I got some shelter for you. I got some shelter for you. But I tell you what now, when you come, smart, tough, fast, disciplined with character. Smart, tough, fast, disciplined with character. But baby, I got shelter for you. Come on to JSU and join D, I love. Now let me ask you a question. Have you seen any coach anywhere Division one, division two, one double A, if that's still a division, I don't think it is called it's FBS these days. Have you seen any coach who's marketing like Deion Sanders is right now? Coach Primetime is letting the world know, college and NFL, that he's open for business. Now let's not kid ourselves. College football is big business. This NIL thing has taken it to a whole other level and it's right for these kids to be cashing out. Two, three years tops, and Deion Sanders will be the name that everybody is talking about in college football, from the small programs to the big programs. But I don't think the small programs are going to have a shot because you're going to have to write a big check to get Deion Sanders and his marketing machine to come to your university. That's if he even wants to leave Jackson State. Let me know what you think about Deion Sanders' business pitch to collegiate athletes. And if you like this video, you're going to love this video where he talks on a podcast about he's already knee-deep in getting players all set up for the NIL money. And in this video over here, you're going to see the recruits that he stole from all the top programs. Let me know what you think. Do you think Coach Primetime taking business to college football is a good thing or a bad thing? Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.